Okay, this is my solution for Monday of week three. This problem was about a bucket being lifted by a rope, and the bucket is accelerating upward. The acceleration was given as A, and the mass of the bucket was given, and the question is, what's the tension in the rope? Now, tension is a force, and so I'm going to do um, this problem the way that I taught you in class, which is um, the method of uh, a free body diagram. So I'm going to choose some axes, X and Y, and then I choose my object, the bucket, and the forces on it are the force of tension in the rope and the force of gravity downward. And I know the force of gravity is mg. Okay, so then I write down that the sum of the forces in the x direction and the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to, well, there are no forces in the x direction, so the y direction is the force of tension, and it's positive upward, and the force of gravity that's negative downward, and that equals mass times the acceleration, which I've been told is positive. So all I have to do then is I just have to write when I know about these things, and I know that the, well, I don't know the force of tension, but I'll write that down then as a variable. And so this is minus mg, the force of gravity, and this is ma, mass times the acceleration. Okay? And there's no acceleration in the x direction. There we go. So now I can just solve for the force of tension. And this is, I'll add mg to both sides, and I get mg plus a. So let's try some values. So in the value that was given, it was accelerating um, at 2 meters per second squared upward. And in that case, then, the force of tension, force, there we go, of tension is equal to the mass, which is 10 kilograms, times g, which is 10 meters per second squared, plus 2 meters per second squared. And so this is equal to, let's see, 12 times 10, 120 newtons. But just for fun, let's imagine, what if the acceleration were zero? What if the acceleration was zero? Well, in that case, then, the force of tension, it's still the same. This time it's 10 kilograms, 10 meters per second squared, plus zero. Okay, so in that case, then, I have only 100 newtons. So this is actually the weight. So I check it, and I say yes. Aha, this is the weight. The force of gravity is equal to the force of tension when the acceleration is zero. What about if it was accelerating downward at 2 meters per second squared? Downward. So, in fact, the way I've written this here is a bit misleading because um, I've, I put a minus sign, but then I have a downward. So that's sort of minus downward, which might be upward. So I'm going to get rid of this because I think that's confusing. But when I go to put downward in the math, I'm going to put it in as a minus sign, just the way when I put it upward, I have a positive sign here. So now, in this case for downward, I have the force of tension is 10 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared, times a, or plus a negative 2 meters per second squared. And so this is only 80 newtons. And this makes sense, because this should be less than the weight. But this one equation can answer all of these problems. Okay.